The latest update that came out at the top of the hour here again still shows that consistent movement of only two miles per hour. That is so important to understand. This is why we have the flooding problems, because you have the rain that's going over the same locations over and over again. And until this storm can pick up speed with its forward movement, that is going to continue. Now, the winds are now down to 45 miles per hour. That's still strong. They're still gusting well into the 60 mile per hour range. But take a look at all of this heavy rain again. You're talking the same locations that have been seeing rain now for well over 24 hours. Here's the problem. That rain is now starting to add up and we have now broken a record. The North Carolina state record, not locally, for the entire state for any tropical system was 24 inches back with Floyd. That was back in 1999. We have now picked up over 30 inches of rain with Florence. And the thing you have to understand, yes, we've broken the record, but it's still raining. So that number is like going to go up and that spread from the previous record is likely to get bigger. Now that record was set in Swansboro, North Carolina, again on the eastern portion, but Newport has picked up about two feet. Oriental has picked up over 20 inches. There's a lot of other locations that have still picked up a tremendous amount of rain. And again, as you said, there is more on the way. Take a look at this. Still to come widespread amounts of six to 12 inches, but it's not out of the question for some of those locations where you're getting that training of the really big downpours to still pick up an additional foot of rain. This is on top of what they've already had. I want you to understand this is not totals. This is additional rain on top of what we've already seen come down. That is the short term problem because that goes to show you, OK, this is where the flash flooding concerns begin. But we also have to look at the long term concerns because since this is going to take its time moving out, that water has to go somewhere. And as it comes in through the ocean, it goes in through the bays and the inlets. It ends up in the rivers. Well, all of the rain that came down also ends up in the rivers. So you have about 20 rivers that have the potential to reach major floods stage and about 29, nearly 30 of them will reach moderate flood stage. But the thing to note who too here, Erica, is that a lot of this isn't going to crest for another three to five days. So even when the rain above you finally stops, you have the long term concern of the rivers and that problem likely won't go away for at least a week.